Hello, I'm Yankee Spanky, um, also known as Lundy the Hammer from my other channel, Reborn Gamers. I uh, highly suggest you just check that out. But as you can tell by the title video, I'm going to um, recruiting voice actors. So I just kind of made a quick PowerPoint uh, just to do something very simple, just get the message across of what I kind of want to see. So I forgot how to start the slideshow. Sorry, um, where is, oh, duh. So, you're just gonna send sam these samples to the real spanky, the real yankee spanky at gmail.com. And, um, so, this is, of course, off the of Tokyo Ghoul. And I feel like I was thinking about Death Note, but I really thought Tokyo Ghoul could, was a little bit easier to make fun of. So, just some rules and guidelines. Have good equipment. Don't use a phone mic. If you are, if I wouldn't really suggest using a Yeti or a Snowball, but using something like a real microphone. Like even though I'm using a Yet, or excuse me, a Snowball right now. If this is all you have, like a Snowball or Yeti, download. Look up how to use this voice meter thing. It's a really cool app, and it makes your stuff sound a lot more professional. Um, I just started recently using it. So. Have some good acting skills. Um, this guy goes down with under uh, to the uh, next line, which is saying if the script says to yell, don't half-ass it. Yell. So commit to the project and meet the deadlines. Let me know if something comes up. I'm really generous about stuff like that because I also have a life, and lots of things don't go the on time as I want them to. So try to know the anime just a little bit at least. Um, it helps. And just this is just kind of like a little extra thing. Just send the files via MP3, or I should that should be uh, send the files as MP3 uh, via email. It just it helps me a lot when editing. So the taken characters are Kaneki and Nish Nishiki. Uh, I'm personally probably going to do uh, Kaneki um, just because it just be a little easier for me to edit. Uh, just having him in front of me the whole time. Because he's mainly, I don't explain it, like, he's on the screen most of the time, and he's going to be the main character, he is the main character, so he's all throughout the series, and let's say we have someone that's in here, and then they decide, someone else voice acting, and then they drop out, it's going to hurt a lot more than if it was another character they're portraying, and then they dropped out. Because I don't feel like you should ever change the main character's voice. And then Nishiki, uh, <laughs> I kind of decided to do something a little fun. And uh, lots of people see this one, but I figured this would do something like this. It's not really one of the work, is it? All right. Well, uh, either way, I have no clue why it's not working. I'll try it one more time. Alright, who cares about it? It's not working. Too bad. So, it's kind of like, uh, it's like a, just like one of those two voices. Um, I just found it funny. I think it would fit the character a little bit. Um, and then, Tokyo. I know I'm butchering the names for some reason today. I cannot pronounce to save my life. Uh, I want her to be somewhat quiet and reserved. Uh, she's mad. Just have her like explosive, like very angry. And I like when I think of who, how I want to be. I think kind of Asuna from Sao Bridge, uh, but a little bit more reserved in the beginning. And then Rise, uh, sexy, persuasive, naughty, pretty simple. Uh, the manager, I want him just a <laughs> stereotypical racist accent. Like I try to think. I always think of someone like from the Deep South. Like back in the 1960s, just very racist. Amon, just your stereotypical hero. I kind of like, I want him to be almost boring because I feel like he's just kind of a boring character. Hyde or Hide, I don't, I always just pronounce it Hyde. Dumb selling, and I like to look at Suzaku from uh, Codement, which is a Code Geass abri abridgment. And an Ito, nerdy and pesky.
I never have learned to be able to pronounce this one, but I remember it's like the kind of crazy, really cuckoo little kid um, who looks like a girl, but it's actually a boy. It's crazy. Um, it's how I really wanted to be, but I, I really would have liked y'all to send some ideas. Uh, Kimi, just have her as a valley girl. Uh, Ryoku, uh, yeah, Ryoko, whoops. I don't know. I'm really bad at pronouncing names. Uh, that's what I get for just looking at the uh, sub. I, 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 I watch the sub, so I I don't really pay attention to how they sound sometimes. I just look at the words. Uh, Hinami, um, that's a word I can pronounce. Just reserved, but kind of annoying. Uh, Kurio, um, or Kurio, whatever it is. Look at Aragorn from Fairy Tale Abridged by Pallet Down Champions, which is now uh, Disaster. I love that dude. I love the dude, the character they have on there. It's just hilarious. I, I think it'd be funny to have him on there. Uh, Shu, just look at Pegasus. Just kind of that. Just, you know, just look at him. Yamari, uh, just kind of like a nasal voice. Uh, and just kind of like make him sound ignorant, like dumb, like huh? But with a nasal voice, he's kind of like this. But I, 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 that's not even how I w even want it to be. Like, even better than that. Which I'm sure most of y'all can do. And then Banjo, just country. And when you actually do pronounce the name, like, for any character that has to say his name, instead of saying how it's pronounced, just say Banjo, just to kind of make fun of his name, and then also going with the accent that he has. Inji, uh, talks very loud and annoying. And I also, and this is kind of like an optional thing, but I like to think of Tristan. <laughs> and just kind of that voice. I, I feel like it, I feel like when I look at Inji, I always kind of think of Tristan and I put the voice together. And, but, like Tristan, but louder and just more annoying. Ayato, just annoying. Renji, emo, monotone, kind of nasal voice. Um, not super, not super nasally. Uh, I almost like the, I kind of think of the Sasuke from um, Lil Kribo's Naruto Bridge. I, I, um, I, I like to think of that sometimes, kind of just very monotone. Uda, emo -ish, gay, or just a complete edgelord. Whichever one you all want, these are kind of the two options. So, just a few extra things. Uh, there are some characters I probably forgot on this list. Um, and I'll send out another audition for the time when those characters do, like, when I will need those characters. So, just put a list of characters I forgot. Um, any, like, minor character, or when I mean minor, like, a girl that pops up, she's like, oh, hi, or something. I'll make sure someone else does that. Or, like, I'll do that, or one of my close friends will do that, who just comes over and they can do it. Because it's not that big of a deal to me. But yeah, that is all, guys. Um, I'm really excited to see where this will go. Um, just be sure to send uh, me the email as soon as you... Uh, just send me a sample of which character you want to do. And yeah, I am I really am excited for this. Uh, this is my first time ever doing a bridge. I've done lots of video editing. But I've always kind of wanted to do my own a bridge series. And I'm, I'm, I really am excited to do this. Now, I'm not asking y'all to subscribe or anything, but it would be pretty cool if y'all did. And uh, check out our other channel, Reborn Gamers. I'll have the link to that in the description. And I'll also have my email link in the description. So, you yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and peace out.